My name is Pastor Lindsay Heron Lewis, and this is Pastor Jesse McMillan. We're the pastors here at Fairmount Presbyterian Church in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, and we want to welcome you to Fairmount's Holy Week virtual experience. This experience honors the ancient story of Jesus' death while recognizing the ways this narrative repeats itself again and again throughout the past and the present. It provides multi-sensory ways to engage, confess, and lament. There are 10 stations we will visit, pausing at each one for scripture, prayer, and reflection. We will also prompt you for ways that you can participate from home. The first thing you may want to do is create a holy space. This past year taught us just how much our space matters. Many of us realized just how holy our sanctuaries are for us when we were unable to physically gather in them. However, this season has also reminded us that God does not reside in any one place, for God is everywhere, and God promises to draw near to us wherever we may be. And so as we begin, we invite you to mark your space so that your soul knows this is holy ground. To mark your sacred space, we suggest lighting a candle, maybe find a pillow on the floor to sit on, settle yourself into your favorite chair, most importantly, turn your phone notifications off so you can truly be present. Take a few deep breaths in and out and repeat to yourself, I am here. God is here. This space is holy ground. And also make sure to have a pen or pencil and a few pieces of paper. Let us pray. Holy God, as we journey through this familiar story, help us to understand it anew. Show us, O oh God, where and why we find ourselves here again and again, and move us toward a more just future. Amen. Go to dark Gethsemane, all who feel the tempter's power, your Redeemer's conflict see, watch with him one bitter hour, turn not from his griefs away, learn from Jesus Christ to pray. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be aggrieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So you could not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This station serves as an invitation to intercessory prayer. Consider a person in your life other than yourself who's having an exceptionally difficult time at the moment. On your piece of paper, write a prayer for that person. Stay with me, remain here with me, watch and pray, watch and pray. Stay with Stay me, here and keep watch with me, watch and pray.
Church and Prayer.